Welcome, everybody. So delighted to have you here with us today. I'm Sunny Gupta, co-founder and CEO of Aptio. Just as a background, I co-founded Aptio back in 2007 as a result of talking to 40-plus CIOs who said complexity and value of IT is a black box, and we need a business system like our peers to manage, plan, optimize technology investments. We created technology business management as a new software category and formed a TBM council as a nonprofit in 2013. I'm proud to say today we have 10,000 members and have become the de facto standard of how technology is managed from a business perspective. While we all know technology is powering every major business process in the enterprise, and the role of IT and CIO is fundamentally changing. You may be wondering why this title of my slide, the end of IT, because CIO are here today to create business value for their enterprises more so than ever. IT as we know is ending and our group of TBM council members as well as our CIO community is helping us guide to enter a new era on the role of technology and technology business management. COVID has catapulted all of us to change the way we work. When thinking about this past year, two words come to mind to me, disruption and opportunity. COVID-19 has disrupted our day-to-day. -day. In the early years of COVID, it was survival, rapidly replanning and cutting your technology budgets as top lines were severely disrupted and there was a lot of uncertainty. But then it allowed us to step back and fundamentally redefine the role of technology and value creation. Conversation today has truly shifted from why does IT cost so much to how can IT create value for my organization? This is a trajectory accelerated by the COVID pandemic. I personally love this quote from Satya, a business partner in our backyard in Seattle. COVID has fundamentally accelerated everything. Overnight, companies faced existential decisions that required innovative thinking on a previously unimagined timeline of weeks instead of years. Pandemic has forced organizations to make rapid changes to their mode of operation. When and how to work from home, managing a distributed workforce, reimagining customer experiences, and fundamentally reinventing new business models for their organizations. And the great part is all of these moves hinge on the role of technology and what chief information officer or, or chief digital officer can do. A great example comes to mind talking to one of our customers who runs a very large hotel chain. When the pandemic hit, 90% of their top line was disrupted within days. And revenue was evaporating while the cost structures were the same. They had excess inventory in their hotels and, ha and had to quickly reimagine new revenue streams. So the CIO in this case launched a new competitor to organizations like Airbnb in months where they could use a lot of the hotel capacity as a lot of people were starting to use that for personal vacations. And just think about this type of transformation. This is not only IT led, but truly enabling a different business model for the enterprise. When digital acceleration hit, the first thing you all had to do was to enable a remote workforce while not losing any productivity. I can personally speak on this as an experience from a CEO's perspective. Without investments in place for digital platforms like Zoom, WebEx, Teams, it would have been impossible even for a company like Aptio to thrive. Hiring, recruiting, employee onboarding, employee retention, employee communication, engagement, all required fundamentally new ways of thinking. And managing a distributed workforce and keeping employees connected was extremely challenging. On top of that, all the data had to be secure. Instantly, every home, device, home networks became points of security concerns and a boardroom topic. Personally, I can say that, that I have spoken to more CIOs in that 
transition moment and how the CIO community rose to that occasion is remarkable. As we started to emerge from enabling a remote employee experience, all the focus turned to creating more value for your enterprises. Uh, whether it was customer service, whether it was customer engagement, reimagining business models, the CIO stepped up to the plate again. Few examples come to mind. Certainly one of our customers who produce a lot of poultry that to employ drones to monitor such that uh, the chickens were not being killed. Many organizations in healthcare had to instantly reinvent the telehealth model. Uh, and today it's become the norm. Thirdly, in financial services, customers really enabling a digital experience and organizations like even Goldman Sachs launching a digital first bank during this time. Fundamentally, IT as we know is dead. This is no longer about back office or changing the toners. This is about reimagining customer employee experiences and reinventing new business models. Today, there's no longer any separation between IT and the business. It is truly the same and one process. And fundamentally, integrating technology, business, UX is more important than ever. So let's take a look at what the new IT looks like. There's been a massive transformation with IT where the infrastructure has gone from on-premise to public cloud. I talk to customers all the time who would say, that in the next two to three years, they would have very little data center footprint left. Uh, applications obviously moving from on-premise to SaaS or containerized applications, delivery models moving from a project-based mindset to a product delivery model, and then the role of technology fundamentally becoming creation of value rather than focus on cost. Today, the role of a CIO is the chief digital officer, chief monetization officer, chief strategy officer, and they are in the boardroom. And IT is fundamentally about creating value and creating new business models. Driving innovation requires three things. Number one, innovation and delivering innovation, leveraging a product mindset, not a project mindset, where you're continuously delivering, you're delivering a minimum viable product with the integrated product, UX, and IT teams. Number two, transforming your infrastructure to the cloud. Uh, you'll definitely get a lot of financial advantages, but you also transform so you can move faster, scale, as well as security. And one of the most important things our customers are doing is leveraging data from Aptio to do apples to apples comparison and uh, because it's very hard to keep up with the innovation from organizations like Microsoft, Google, or AWS, or IBM for that matter. Thirdly, how do you take a deeper look at your budgets using data and using financial management as a foundation? Understanding your finances, where your spend is going, what the levers you have, alignment with the business, and continuously optimizing is stable stakes in today's world. You all have to be incredible stewards of capital. And I can say that from personal experience that our customers who had automation in place during this pandemic came out much farther ahead because they were able to react and respond and do rapid scenario planning. So let's talk about each one of these in detail. So innovation with a product mindset, many of our CIOs are adopting agile planning and agile delivery models, where you truly have an integrated product UX and a technology team. Uh, challenges around how do you ideate uh, new uh, business models? How do you align work with strategy? How do you actually do funding of that work? How do you execute and measure? And then how do you do value stream management, measuring OKRs and value for every innovation that is being delivered? It is impossible to manage this level of complexity on spreadsheets and how do you leverage automation and technology and leverage your data in systems like Microsoft or Atlassian as an example. As we think about modernizing for a cloud platform, as I mentioned, apples to apples comparison of on-premise to cloud workloads, 
once you're on the cloud, optimization of that spend is really, really important. Many of our customers are finding 10 to 20% optimization on AWS, Microsoft, or uh, Azure, or IBM bills. Uh, understanding the TCO of the cloud is really, really important because you're gonna have third-party monitoring spend, labor spend, and also lastly, understanding the SaaS sprawl, discovering all the SaaS in your environment when the contracts are coming up for renewal becomes table stakes. Optimizing your budgets so you can free up capital from run to invest in new innovation is table stakes. This is what gives you credibility as a CIO in the C-suite. Many of our customers embrace the concepts of showback, where you're discussing levers, you're discussing consumption, you're bringing out actionable insights through software, and this becomes really bread and butter in order to manage and optimize your technology spending. This is how many of our customers are able to reclaim dollars to fuel forecasts, do long-term planning for technology budgets, create a lot of optionality by doing rapid scenario planning and efficiencies by altering consumption. To keep up with the changing role of technology and the CIO, Aptio has transformed significantly so we can bring new innovation to you. We've gone from serving being the leader in IT financial management to now being the leader in financial management, cloud cost optimization, SaaS discovery, agile enterprise planning. Serving customers of all sizes today, uh, spanning from very small IT budgets to very large IT budgets. Rather than having an army of spreadsheet folks kind of doing your financial management, we have automated hundreds and hundreds of data sources through actionable insights, through automated data connectors, so we can bring this value. And lastly, significantly changing the time to value. If you're using a cloud solution, you can be up and running in a matter of days or hours. Even in our core financial management app, applying machine learning and those technologies, we're able to deliver value at a much, much faster pace, and more importantly, bring actionable insights uh, rather than having human beings kind of comb through the reporting interfaces. Today, Aptio offers one scalable, integrated platform to serve the needs of modern IT. Number one, our cloudability family of products, which allows you to optimize your public cloud spending, helps you optimize 10 to 20% of that spend. Number two, discover SaaS environments and help you do vendor management. And number three, help you make data-driven decisions around your migration 25% faster. That's in the Cloudability MX product line. Number two, Aptio One. Many of you are familiar with uh, cost transparency and planning applications, which are all branded under Aptio One. Allows you to really understand your cost base, alter consumption, come out with showback, chargeback, as well as uh, benchmarking and actionable insights on your holistic technology spend. Thirdly, we have acquired a company called Target Process, which is the market leader in digital innovation, really around agile enterprise planning. As a result, now you're able to measure value for your new innovation. You're able to do resource planning. You're able to do OKRs and value management so you can deliver more value to your organizations. Most importantly, the TBM model underpins these three kind of major disciplines, and we are working really, really hard to integrate these three capabilities seamlessly, and you can get started in one of these capabilities and kind of increase your journey to the other one. So think about all of three of these as Lego pieces, and it doesn't really matter where you start, over time, customers are adopting the entire suite uh, which Opti offers. So now let's take a look at Tenant Healthcare and how they've leveraged Aptio and the trusted insights for investments and modernization. When COVID hit, Tenant could quickly launch telehealth. So couples like the one you see here never had to miss a checkup or a prescription refill. Tenant Health Story is a great example of how they've driven transformation. 
Tenant Healthcare's Executive Vice President and CIO, Paula Arbor, has been on a two-year journey with Aptio. They've truly moved to true business insights in the financial mechanisms of IT. They use Aptio to enact governance and joint planning with the CFO, CEO, and CIO for all business initiatives with IT. Input from the business informs all decisions, investment modernization, cloud, replatforming apps at hospitals, putting in imaging, EMRs, and radiology is all delivered on the back of Aptio. When talking about innovation, Paula highlights practical decision-making. I love this quote. IT people who don't understand the business are a disaster, says Paula. They get enamored with the technology and not on what it's going to do. I believe that TBM drives those two things together and allows IT people to be less enamored with technology and more enamored with the practicality of the decision-making with the business. COVID taught tenant healthcare some valuable lessons. As a public healthcare company, they took a lot of money out of the system to survive the shutdown. Tenant wasn't making any money, but still had to pay their bills. They needed transparency into every technology dollar and budget, and IT rose to the occasion faster than any other function because they had a portfolio-driven taxonomy in its TVM model. They knew what they spent on HR, legal, in each hospital, systems like radiology. As a result, Tenant has been able to accelerate its portfolio view and with a consolidated bill of technology, push it into the hospitals. So hospitals can make decisions for their portfolio of service lines and Tenant's P&L view of its service lines is crucial getting powered by Aptio. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you're as excited as we are at Aptio. And I cannot wait to see all of you in person next year at our conference. And now let's take a look at the future we are building together. Business technology is complex, evolving. It's an overload of data. How can you scrutinize billions of data points on your technology spend from every corner of your business quickly and accurately so you can make decisions that deliver the most value? Simple. Aptio gives you the power of trusted, actionable insights to connect your technology investment decisions to strategic business outcomes. We're building a future where your teams have the data and the agility to capitalize on market opportunities, capturing ideas and prioritizing work, deciding whether it should run on-prem or in the cloud, optimizing your technology investments so you can manage your bottom line because the key to innovation is making informed decisions faster. Technology defines your future success. Every dollar you invest in tech should drive value. For hospitals to treat more patients, banks to fund more dreams, and visionaries to bring the future to life. With trusted technology decisions from Aptio.